Good morning, if you're just joining or just getting started. So you can find your place and get some water. We have about a minute. Beautiful, quiet morning in the forest here this morning. The sun is kind of rising behind, behind me. It's been such a great week this week. All right. All right, so we're just almost at the top of the hour. Lovely to be with you here again today. You can hear the squirrels are chirping this morning. Getting ready for what's to come. Thinking of the earth element right now. All right, it's the top of the hour. Welcome to Spring Forest Qigong every day. My name is Sue Kreitz and I've been your host all week. Today is my last day. It's been such a wonderful week to be with you. I'm a certified Spring Forest Qigong instructor and healer and um, I live in Northern Alberta, Canada. So just outside of Athabasca. And this week I've been sharing our um, property, our land and, and finding beautiful places to to share with you so you can really feel the energy here and the energy from nature which is so healing and really helps us to balance our own energy when we connect with that. So I hope you've enjoyed that and today is going to be obviously a forest practice. I had to just pass by Luna's Pond which still has beautiful fog on it again this morning. Uh, but the forest for me is, is where I really feel at home. And when I'm um, trying to work out things or, or enhance my own practice, my own growth, my own development, a walk in the forest really does it for me every time. So um, it's, it's sort of like the place where I go. And uh, if you have access to a forest, you might, you might find that too, or you already noticed that. So today I wanted to, I got a few questions about um, a couple of things. One in particular was about, you know, if, you if you've been practicing for a little while, or even if you're new to the practice, what's the next step if you want to um, experience more healing, or you want to understand more, or go deeper into your own practice? And um, so the question was, would I join a practice group? Would I take a level one? You know, what would I do? And I really recommend um, a level one, a Qi activation class. That is going to give you a foundation that is really going to enhance what you're already doing. And even if you've taken level one, it's so great to repeat levels from time to time. I took level one four or five times. And every time you come to a teaching, even though you might have heard it before, you're at a different level of maturity in your practice. And, and so you experience a different level of depth, of penetration, of understanding. And then when you go away and back to your practice, uh, you'll notice it's very enhanced. So the level one is going to take you deeper into, especially the five elements. Level two is a great next step. Level two is not only if you want to be a healer. Level two is also, um, supporting your healing and you do learn how to how to work with others but you know the most important part of that is you learn how to work with yourself so there's more exercises to enhance um, your chi cultivation and there's ways where you can learn self-healing oh there's the sun hello how beautiful so so i recommend that and a practice group is really great for support for depends how it's set up my practice group i've got a lot of questions about that uh, it's all about community. I'm really passionate about community. So, so there's a great community aspect to it where members get to know one another. They can get partnered with Chi Buddies if they want. We also have um, some member-led programs in there, some seated meditations that the members lead. We have a book club. We have recipes. Um, and we also have a group leaders club now that, that we're supporting other practice group leaders. And, and we meet once a week, but there's replays, there's handouts, there's specific teachings on the movements. Um, there's quite a bit there. So if you're interested in that, 
Um, you can check out my website for any of those things and the levels one, two, three I have coming up and the Love Your Joint workshop I have coming up with Master Manira. So you can never lose by further advancing your development and understanding of this practice and the movements. And if you are looking for healing, so you've got something that you're really working on, no matter what, if it's physical, a diagnosis, emotional, spiritual, the five elements healing movements are really going to help balance your emotions and get you into that place of, of receiving um, universal healing, universal love and light. So I really encourage you to think about that because it's this emotional piece that is so critical to um, our healing. So when we start to focus on the wisdom of the five elements and those positive emotions, we can transform blockages. So um, it, it just really helps you with your relationships, helps you heal from past um, issues and be uh, a little more present and move forward with some confidence. So um, use the wisdom of the five elements to guide that for you and, and those emotions you can focus on throughout the day. We talked about joy this week, beauty and how beauty activates joy. And that's really then when we're, we're bringing in something from nature and that's how we heal. You know, we are born from all these elements that we see all around us. So I encourage you to, um, to use the five elements for what they were designed for, which is really helping you to heal. Okay, so it's been a beautiful week with you. Let's get started with our practice today. I'm going to back up a little bit. And this spruce forest has a lot of meaning. Our, our kids have all kinds of forts they built in here when we were young. They were young. We get our firewood from here. We come for walks here. It's just really a lovely um, place. I'm sure you can feel that. So let's start off with our song. So just have your feet hip width apart or shoulder width apart, knees bent slightly, gentle smile. I'm just going to take off this layer as so that sun is going to warm me a bit. And feel like your feet are rooted down into the earth. So really sinking down, rooted down into the earth. And so just make this connection like you are a tree in the forest, tapping in to what these trees have to offer. And now let's start bouncing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Ah, letting go. Oh, I'll show you the canopy after. It's just really beautiful here. Releasing, connecting to the space, to your practice. Bring your hands up, let the wrists flop. Pulling the elbows back a little bit so the chest feels like it's open. Opening up the lungs, the heart, intestines. And bring the hands down and let's twist. Being gentle but aware that the spine is so straight, so flexible, so supportive. Like a little tree you have right in the middle of you. Beautiful. And let's start with some tapping and cupping. So tapping below the eyes, the stomach channels, nine times. The start of the eyebrows, the bladder channel, nine times. Detoxifying the back of the body. Lean forward, cupping the crown of the head, the base of the head. Massaging the C7. Clapping our hands together nine times. Cupping the left arm crease, the right, left armpit, the right. Bend over and tap the tailbone and sacrum as close as you can reach. Tap the hip points. Bend over and cup above the knees. Backs of the knees. Sides of the left knee. Sides of the right. 
All right, beautiful. So let's, again, get into the song. Feet hip or shoulder width apart, knees bent, shoulders relaxed back and down. And feel your feet gripping the earth slightly. As you visualize, you have roots sinking you deep down into the earth. There's a little bit of space in the armpits. Fingers are gently spread. Chin is drawn in. Breathing in and out of the nose. Gentle smile on your face. Resting the tongue just on the upper palate behind the front teeth. And now focus on your breath. And if you can, you can bring your attention to a beautiful light shining in behind your navel, your lower dantian. And as you breathe, you can visualize you're breathing in beautiful essence of chi from the universe. It's coming in through your skin, moving through all the cells and tissues and collecting with that light you have shining in your lower dantian. Exhaling, releasing, transforming what you don't need into smoke or mist or butterflies and seeing that come out of the body and go back to the ends of the universe. So you are a beautiful tree in a forest amongst other beautiful trees. And you're so tall, reaching for the sun. You support all kinds of life within you, around you. And your feet are rooted deep down into the earth, drawing on these beautiful resources. And as you focus on the lower Dantian, you can say in your mind the password, I'm in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. And take a moment to feel that. You and the universe are one. And then you can call upon a higher power to support you, your spiritual master, your God, Mother Earth, Buddha, Jesus, Lao Tzu, Kuan Yin, whatever it is for you, Grandma, beautiful tree, a higher power that has a pure energy that you have great respect for and feel that energy coming to you now, shining like a sun in the sky, sending beautiful beams of unconditional love, light and healing wisdom to you. Set an intention for your practice. What is it you would like help with? And bring your right hand up in front of the upper chest, your left hand in front of the lower Dantian. You're just activating this beautiful column of light that runs through the center of your body. And let's begin the moving of yin and yang. Right hand moving away and down. Left hand coming in and up. Letting the elbows lead, smiling gently. And the hands are just floating along And the hands can visualize they are so big, like they start at the elbows. And you can connect to the feeling of happiness. Happy that you're here, happy about this community. Happy that it's Friday for some of us. And knowing you can sit or lie down anytime and still receive amazing benefits from your practice.
And then slowly coming to the ending, just resting your hands in front of the lower Dantian, pausing here just to feel the energy. Hands are slightly away from the body. And then moving into breathing of the universe. Inhale, bending the knees, expanding the hands open. Exhale, straightening the knees, bringing the hands closer together. They don't touch, they go back out again before that happens. Maybe you notice a little bit of resistance when they are coming in or even when they're going out, just observing. And here we can connect to that beautiful thing from nature that makes you feel so amazing, that activates joy. Opening up your heart, allowing that love energy, that forgiveness energy just to flow. You don't even have to think about it. Really breathing in this Zen Chi, this essence of Chi from the universe, drawing it in through all the pores of your skin. And doing one more of these. And we're gonna move into connecting heaven and earth. So just inhaling your hands up above your head, like you're holding a big uh, beach ball filled with helium. It's so light and your fingers plugging in to the heavens above, your feet are rooted into the earth. You're going to inhale, bending your knees slightly, coming down, and exhale, straightening. So you can goalpost the arms, or you can bring them down with you and up with you, or you can just relax the one you need. Really feeling how light your hands are, how open your shoulders are, how straight your spine is and how you're really feeling balanced as you draw upon this chi from the heavens above and the chi from the earth below. And feel how peaceful you feel in this moment. This forest is so still. It's like it's so present here with us. 
feeling so peaceful amongst these beautiful trees, so grounded. I'm doing one more. And finishing off, just bringing your arms down, feeling how good that feels. And we'll go into connecting with your body's energy, bringing your hands together in this heart shape and just taking a step out, feeling some pressure between your fingertips and your thumbs. And then just inhale as you gently lunge to the left, pausing. Exhale, coming over to the right. And inhaling to the left, smiling, shoulders are relaxed. Spine is so straight and tall. Having an awareness of your shoulder blades, how they participate in this posture, your back. And feeling so content right now, satisfied with yourself, with your life, with this moment. And then coming back to center slowly. Bring your hands together in prayer position. And we'll go into connecting with your heart's energy. Feeling pressure here between your fingertips and your thumbs. Your elbows are away from the body slightly. Inhale, bowing forward. And exhale, straightening. Smiling. I'm feeling so grateful for this moment, for your life, for these trees, for all the beauty around us every day.
So beautiful. One more bow. And then we're just going to pause here as we do our chant. Today it's Chewy, C-H-U-E-E. -E. So feeling that connection to your heart. Chewy. Pausing here for a moment. <clears throat> noticing, excuse me, noticing how you feel, the space around you, your fingertips, your cells. And thank your master. Thank your teachers, the teachings, Master Lin, for this practice simple, powerful practice, and for this community. Thank you to the land and to yourself for being here. And bring your focus down to the lower Dantian where you see a beautiful light spinning like a ball, getting smaller and brighter, spinning faster, and smaller and brighter and faster until it turns into a beautiful little seed and you just tuck it away in behind your navel. And you can take three slow, gentle, deep breaths. Feeling how good you feel. All your channels are open. All your blockages are gone. And rub your hands together, palm to palm. <clears throat> generating some heat, and then massage your face. And you can cup your head from front to back. Massage your ears. And then we'll hold out the left arm, cup down the inside of the left arm, flip it over, outside. Helping get the chi where it's going to be of most use, right arm. There was a frog croaking here. I was worried that I was almost standing on him. I shuffled around a bit. Cup underneath the left armpit down the side. Lots of squirrels, lots of birds. It's really beautiful. The sun is just shining on the trees over there. Underneath the right armpit. Cup down the torso. Interlace your fingers and massage the lower dantian. Cup the kidneys. And if you want to carry on your practice on the weekend with a leader, we're going to be um, having a practice in the 100 Day um, Practice Group Facebook page. Tap the tailbone and sacrum. And Richard Baboni is going to be the leader this weekend, and he's also going to be your leader next week. He is a great leader. You'll really enjoy him. So if you want to continue on practicing, join us tomorrow or you'll see uh, Richard on Monday and tap the hip points. Bend over and cup above the knees, the backs of the knees, the sides of the left knee, sides of the right. And go up onto your toes and drop down onto your heels. 
Ah, what a beautiful week that was. I thank you so much for, for being here, allowing me to share this practice. This is something that brings me great joy as well as this land. And I'm just going to show you up top here quickly before we sign off. Oh, and there was a deer just snorting there in those beautiful trees. It's so, so beautiful. And the sun is just starting to come around. I don't know if you can see that with this light, but beautiful lighting in here. So thank you so much. Have a great week. Thank you so much to Rong and Jackie for all their work getting this together. And I send you all my love and my gratitude. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.